render unto Caesar. We return to Shakespeare's first folio for more clues in the authorship game. Today we're going to look at the tragedy of Julius Caesar. Viewers of my previous video, Caesar's No Salad, will recall that there are many clues on page 122 of the text. Recall the near-perfect 4-0 puzzle from the right-hand column. There is more to it than I thought. I will briefly go over what I found and discussed in that previous video. These five letters, the five O's along the left-hand column, obviously form a puzzle slash clue. They include a perfect type 1 for O puzzle with an extra letter O. We can see this 4 O in two ways, as another 4 O puzzle or an instruction to stop here. We stop because the numbering system starts again, back with number 1. Remember also that himself is the true writer. He is represented by 17 characters and spaces. This is exactly the same type of puzzle arrangement that we saw in Here I Promised You I Would Be, in which the text will give you a clue as to who the narrator is. This hides another clever 1740 illusion. Two uppercase H's give us two eights in Latin alphabet gematria. 8-8 or 88 hath the letter value of T, 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 T in the Latin alphabet repeating count, or 4T. It's a homophone of the number 40. In another way of getting to the number 40, the line has 40 letters, of which here is himself is 17 characters and spaces long. Here is something I only discovered today, April 7th, 2024. This packet of letters and numbers hides more clues. It is an unexpected discovery. The gematria sum of all uppercase letters, including the italic C and Caesar, is 125. And recall from the easy peasy way to tell secrets, we can subtract smaller numbers from larger numbers. These Arabic numbers along the side add to 11. 125 minus 11 is 114. Recall also that we can subtract things that are different from a set from a sum. 114 minus the 16 words in this little section is 98. We have seen 98 countless times as a digit sum number alluding to the real author of the plays. 9 plus 8 is 17. Not bad for such a small section of type. But that's not all. The packet of letters and numbers is followed by another 1740 illusion that I just discovered today. We will be revenged, colon, revenge. Quite simply, what are the gematria values of the uppercase letters in this line? Who knows? There may be more puzzles hidden on the page, but what is clear is this is more evidence that 
Edward de Vere, the seventeenth Earl of Oxford, was Shakespeare. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.